how I remove these spots and dots within three weeks, before and after. So here's how it's done. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Darren Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about a really common skin condition which occur mainly in darker skinned individuals like Asians and um, African Americans. Um, this lesion is called Dermatosis Papulosis Nigra, in other words, um, age warts. And these age warts can be small and over time, they actually increase in size. So Morgan Freeman, for example, he's covered in them, yeah? So I'm gonna teach you four methods. I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about four methods about how to remove them, but I'm just gonna show you two. That this is my two favorite methods. So do I like to use a CO2 laser for this? Um, look, in someone who's a fairer skin type, yes, I do. So I do use a CO2 laser in a one mil spot size, and we can ablate these lesions, or in other words, desiccate or remove these age spots. In Asian patients, I do prefer an erbium laser because it gives you less collateral damage. So I'll show you how I do it using an erbium using a one mil spot size. Another favorite method of mine in the past, if you really don't have lasers, is old fashioned TCA. Um, however, if you do spill some of this along the, along the, on your skin, it is actually gonna cause more damage. So do I use this now that I have lasers? Um, no, I don't. Okay, and my final method is probably my preferred method. Really simple, it's called a curette. So this is a very nice instrument. I use the cutting edge of a curette to actually remove these lesions. So you'll see how I do it, how easy it's done in the healing up process in the before and afters. So stay tuned guys. Guys, I've got Gwen here, um, and Gwen's got what's known as, have a look at these, these are little spots. I'll give, we'll have a closer look later on. But these are basically age barnacles. Um, so for all you um, guys who are in, I know I've got lots of subscribers in Singapore, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Uh, here's my phrase. Propansini adamanya tai lalat. Okay, so um, translations below. My first language is actually Malay, so that's why I don't speak English that well. Um, but we're gonna remove these tai lalat, or these spots, um, with um, a laser and also a curette. So Gwen, you ready? Cool, okay, so she's got numbing cream on. She shouldn't feel much at all. Um, and um, yeah, I'll show you how it's done. So we'll have a closer look at what these are shortly. Okay, so this is what we're looking at, um, guys. This, this is called Dermatosis Papulosis Nigra. Uh, these are age-related warts, um, and they can be um, made worse with sun exposure but they're often genetic. And like I said, they're more common in Asian populations and also in darker skin in individuals. Like I said, Morgan Freeman is a classic example of someone who's covered in these age warts, but that gives him character. Um, and I guess for a woman, uh, we probably don't want that character. We probably want her to have a nice, nice smooth complexion. So I'll show you how I actually remove these. Hey guys, so what we're doing is using a very simple instrument. It's called a curette. I can use a dull or a sharp one. I, this one is actually a dulled up sharp one. So you can see how I use it. So come on through. Um, and I use it in a gentle manner just to lift off that warts. It's gone. See that? See how easy that is? But you've got to put just the amount of right pressure not to cause too much bleeding, but also just enough pressure to remove the wart. So you can see. Um, how I do it. If you use too much, if it's too sharp, it can cause a little bit of bleeding, but that's not a problem. See how I've removed that one there? And it's just the right, and that one's gone there as well. So you can see these are all warts um, that, I've, that I've extracted on the tip. So we're moving bit by bit, and I believe that this is actually a pretty good way of removing them. You can see that one's gone there as well. So we're moving bit by bit. And you see the areas of pinpoint bleeding? That's absolutely normal. That's what we want, is that area of pinpoint bleeding. So we can move here. Maybe for these I'll use a laser, because it's a little bit more accurate. Um, and for the, but for the bigger one, certainly using a curette like this, just to remove the top. This works really well. Paint okay? Good. So that's one way to remove um, these lesions. Now we'll swap over to a laser. 
now I'm using an Erbium laser with a one mil spot size. I like using the one mil spot size because it's more accurate. I prefer this compared to a CO2 laser, especially in Asian skin type. So come, come by and I'll show you how it's done. So the really small ones which I have trouble with the curette, I'm actually using a laser and it's just a hit there. Bang, bang, that's gone. You can see how quick the laser works compared to curette. Tiniest ones can be treated with absolute laser accuracy. So this is what she looks like post-operatively, so um, directly after a laser and curette session. Pinpoint areas of bleeding that will heal up tonight. We're going to put a um, steroid together with an antibacterial ointment um, and we'll see how she heals up over the next couple of days in the before and after results. So this is what the skin looks like the very next day. It's really important to keep um, the moisturizer on and the antibacterial. This is what she looks like at day three and this is what she looks like at day six, almost completely healed. Okay, so this is just on um, two and a half weeks after the procedure. You can see the white areas are uh, repigmenting, which is great. Um, Gwen has got a tiny bit of tanning, which is great because that's what we want. We want to stimulate pigmentation within these areas. Um, and everything will be good within the next uh, two weeks. So you can see um, there's been a marked improvement with the age spots, not all of them have gone, some of them are still there, in fact some of them are actually moles, so these um, remain, um, but the majority have gone. So you can see a simple procedure, very little downtime, excellent outcome. Gwen, are you happy with everything? Yes I am. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. Now all we've got to do is, um, like I said, uh, the remainder of the pigmentation, see the white areas there, need to repigment, it'll take about another two weeks or so. So gentle use of sunlight will actually help repigment this. Okay guys, um, step two now is to help fade the darker areas. You can see she's got uneven skin, um, skin texture. You can see areas there which are dark and areas which are slightly lighter, especially around her cheeks. Um, and part two of this is to help actually uh, improve her skin texture. So we'll be using some creams. Uh, and some laser therapy in the new year. I'll keep you informed about Gwen's progress. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon. Bye. Just to summarize, here are the before and afters healing up within two and a half weeks. For more information, please visit my um, website. It's basically a portal on um, everything laser and aesthetic dermatology. There's lots of before and after photographs together with the conditions I treat um, and the latest news. So uh, for more information, videos and all, I've embedded that in my website, lasersandlifts.com.au. Um, and hey, look, guys, thanks very much for your feedback um, and subscribe for more info. Bye.